Could Vietnam's semiconductor industry rival China's? Hello and welcome to another episode of China Record. South Korea's Hana Micron plans to pour $1 billion into chip production in Vietnam by 2025, the latest in a wave of semiconductor investments flooding into the communist country. Last month, Biden promised to aid Vietnam's semiconductor industry as both countries elevate their relations. It looks like other countries see the potential in Vietnam's semiconductor industry, but can it compete with China's? According to Statista Market Forecast, the revenue in the global semiconductor market is projected to reach 553 billion US dollars in 2023 with a compound annual growth rate CAGR of 7.42% from 2023 to 2027. Deloitte Global predicts that 2023 could act as a pause that refreshes for the semiconductor industry as it faces both shortage and oversupply issues at the same time. The report suggests that the industry could use this opportunity to focus on five major areas, bringing manufacturing closer to home, managing diversification risks, digitally transforming processes, addressing talent shortages, and building sustainability goals. The country that produces the most semiconductors is Taiwan. Taiwan is the home of Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, which is the largest chip manufacturer in the world, providing 54% of the global chips. TSMC manufactures semiconductors for many other companies, such as Apple, AMD, NVIDIA, and Qualcomm. Taiwan's semiconductor industry accounted for 21.6% of the global market share in 2023. TSMC is also the leader in advanced chip technologies such as 5 nanometer and 3 nanometer processes. TSMC's dominance in the semiconductor industry has made it a key player in the global supply chain and a strategic partner for many countries, especially the United States. Other countries that produce a lot of semiconductors are South Korea, Japan, United States, and China. South Korea's Samsung Electronics is one of the world's largest technology companies and one of the biggest semiconductor producers. Japan has more than 100 semiconductor fabrication plants, mostly owned by Japanese, American, or Taiwanese firms. The United States has about 12% of the global chip manufacturing capacity and is home to Intel Corporation, one of the leading chip makers. China is an emerging player with a growing domestic market and production capacity. The world outlook on semiconductor has changed since the US and China declared trade war against each other. They used sanctions against each other, so the companies from both countries became victims. The trade war affected the supply and demand of chips, creating a global shortage that impacted many industries such as automotive, consumer electronics, and telecommunications. The trade war also increased the competition and rivalry between the U.S. and China for technological supremacy and innovation. The U.S. tried to protect its domestic semiconductor industry and limit China's access to advanced chips, while China tried to reduce its dependence on foreign suppliers and develop its own chip capabilities. The trade war also created opportunities for other countries, such as Japan and Vietnam, to expand their market share and influence in the semiconductor industry. Vietnam is a rising star in the semiconductor industry thanks to its strategic location, young talent, and supportive policies. As China's neighbor, Vietnam has benefited from the trade war between the U.S. and China, which has prompted many tech firms to relocate their production and investment to Vietnam. Vietnam has also attracted some of the world's leading semiconductor companies, such as Samsung, Intel, and Hana Micron, to set up their factories and research centers in the country. Vietnam's semiconductor industry is expected to reach 17.24 billion US dollars in revenue in 2023. Vietnam is not only a chip assembler, but also a chip designer and manufacturer with ambitions to climb up the value chain and compete with other regional players. The U.S. and Vietnam have established a new partnership to explore opportunities to grow and diversify the global semiconductor ecosystem under the International Technology Security and Innovation ITSI Fund, created by the CHIPS Act of 2022. 
This partnership aims to create a more resilient, secure, and sustainable global semiconductor value chain by building on Vietnam's existing strengths in assembly, testing, and packaging, and identifying new opportunities that attract industry investments and expand the technical workforces in both countries one. The partnership also supports the U.S.'s strategic interests in ensuring the semiconductor supply chain security and diversification as well as promoting the development and adoption of secure and trustworthy telecommunications networks. The U.S. has also pledged to aid Vietnam's semiconductor industry as both countries elevate their relations amid the geopolitical tensions and trade war between the U.S. and China. Recently, Hanna Micron, a South Korean manufacturer of chip packaging and memory products, plans to pour $1 billion into chip production in Vietnam by 2025, the latest in a wave of semiconductor investments flooding into the communist country. The company, which is a supplier of Samsung, has already started moving equipment to its new, second factory in Bacjong province where it expects to create 4,000 jobs and generate $800 million in revenue by 2025. Hanna Micron is one of the many foreign investors that have been attracted by Vietnam's strategic location, young talent, and supportive policies for the semiconductor industry. Vietnam is aiming to become a regional hub for chip design and manufacturing, with ambitions to account for 20% of its GDP by 2030. The country has also benefited from the trade war between the U.S. and China, which has prompted some tech firms to relocate their production and investment to Vietnam. But could Vietnam's semiconductor industry rival China's? China and Vietnam are two neighboring countries in East Asia that have different levels of development and involvement in the global semiconductor industry. The semiconductor industry is highly competitive and dynamic, and it is facing both challenges and opportunities in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic, the global chip shortage, the rising geopolitical tensions, and the increasing demand for advanced technologies. China's semiconductor industry dates back to the 1950s, when it started to produce and export semiconductor components to the Eastern Bloc during the Cold War. However, the collapse of the Soviet Union and the ensuing trade embargo put an end to China's first attempt at developing semiconductor capability. Since then, China has launched a number of initiatives to close the gap with the international technology frontier, such as investing $150 billion into its domestic IC industry through avenues like the National Integrated Circuit Industry Investment Fund CCF, with a Made in China 2025 goal of 70% domestic production, superscript 1. Vietnam's semiconductor industry was revived in the 2000s when it attracted some of the world's leading semiconductor companies such as Samsung, Intel, and Hanna Micron to set up their factories and research centers in the country. Vietnam is a rising star in the semiconductor industry thanks to its strategic location, young talent, and supportive policies. As China's neighbor, Vietnam has benefited from the trade war between the U.S. and China, which has prompted many tech firms to relocate their production and investment to Vietnam. China's semiconductor industry is facing several challenges and opportunities in the future. On one hand, China is facing increasing pressure from the U.S. export controls that aim to disrupt its development of advanced chips. The U.S. has banned some Chinese companies from accessing American equipment and software that are essential for chip design and manufacturing. Vietnam's semiconductor industry also has its own challenges and opportunities in the future. On one hand, Vietnam is facing a shortage of skilled workers and engineers that can meet the growing demand for semiconductors. Vietnam also lacks a strong domestic market that can support its local chip makers. On the other hand, Vietnam has a lot of potential to attract more foreign investment and collaboration in semiconductors. Vietnam has established a special working group to court high-tech investments by offering customized incentives beyond those specified by existing laws. Vietnam also has a good relationship with both the U.S. and China, which can help it balance its interests and avoid conflicts. In conclusion, China and Vietnam are two countries that have different histories, statuses, and prospects in the global semiconductor industry. China is a major consumer and producer of semiconductors, but it is also facing a lot of challenges from the U.S. export controls and its own technological gaps. 
Vietnam is a newcomer and a rising star in the semiconductor industry, but it also has a lot of room for improvement in terms of skills, market, and innovation. Vietnam's semiconductor industry is a newcomer and a rising star in the global market, but it still has a long way to go before it can compete with China's, which has more potential in terms of experience, market size, and innovation. China has been developing its semiconductor industry for decades, and it has invested heavily in research and development, infrastructure, and talent. China is also the world's largest consumer and producer of semiconductors, with a huge domestic market that can support its local chip makers. China has also made significant progress in advanced chip technologies, such as 7 nanometer and 3 nanometer processes that can rival or surpass those of the US and Taiwan. Vietnam, on the other hand, is still in the early stages of its semiconductor industry development and it faces many challenges such as a shortage of skilled workers and engineers, a lack of a strong domestic market, and a dependence on foreign suppliers and investors. Vietnam also lags behind China in terms of chip design and manufacturing capabilities and it mainly focuses on assembly, testing, and packaging. Therefore, for now, Vietnam's semiconductor industry has no way to compete with China's, which has more potential in various aspects. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed learning more about the semiconductor industry and its global distribution. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you for your support and see you in the next video.